Your 3A South Region Player of the Year is Riley Nielsen. Your 3A South Region Offensive Player of the Year is Gianna Pancos. And your 3A South Region Defensive Player of the Year is Jessamine Aguilar. I'm down. Hey, that's Savino High School head coach in softball range, Cindy Cuvias, announcing postseason awards for the Sabercats. Next up for number one seeded Sabino, a matchup on Friday in the 3A state championship game. Who will they play? That's the question. Well, it'll be against Winslow. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Cicalo. What a ride it's been for the Sabercats. As the number one seed, Sabino has swept through the postseason. The Sabercats have outscored their opponents in the playoffs 36-7. A win for Sabino would mean a three-peat for the Sabercats. Coach Cindy Cuvias went from an assistant coach last year to the head coach this year to the state title game again. I think it's the Sabino standard. Um, it's, a, it's something that they set. We talked a lot about it this year. Uh, and I think it's pride that they carry within the program. So um, I think that kind of helps with the transition from year to year. We just have a really, really good bond with each other, and we all really mend well together. Our head coach this year, she was our assistant coach last year, so we know her, and she knows us, and we trust her, she trusts us. I mean, it just shows you how hard these girls work and how hard work pays off. I mean, we're out here every day just grinding and doing our best. Moving on, Coach Rebecca Quiroz and the Pima softball team will be a four seed in the upcoming Region 1 tournament. It all goes down in two days. It'll be a tough task for the Aztecs to advance to the national tournament. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you. It's a tremendous freshman season for Pima College left fielder Elise Munoz. She's been having a great season. I'm going to tell you why in a minute what I was telling you about before. Playing in honor of her grandfather, Papa, who died earlier this year from colon cancer, the South Point Catholic product is hitting 415 on the season. Munoz had a stretch in which she hit leadoff for Pima in April, where in four games she had 12 hits and 15 at-bats with seven runs scored. The Aztecs won all four of those games. Elise Munoz says she has never been this hot at the plate. No, she hasn't, not even during her three state championship seasons for the Lancers. Just try to keep it simple. I don't think about it. When I start to get into it, you just have to keep it simple, just hit, see ball, hit ball. She's a gamer. She competes, and uh, this kid will go, you know, 15 pitches in that bat and then beat out a bunch. She's just that kind of gamer. We call Elise our little firecracker. This just whole coaching staff, this team, they're really, like, they're really pushing. Like, they'll push me to be the best I can be, and I really like that about everyone. Love it. Pima will play twice on Friday. This is double elimination. The Aztecs went 0-12 during the regular season against Yavapai, Central Arizona, and Eastern Arizona, the three teams in this regional. That's why I said earlier on it is going to be a tough task. All right, ouch, and quickly, a congrats is in order to the Canyon Del Oro and South Point baseball programs. Both won in Phoenix and will face each other on Monday in the 4A state championship game. The matchup has been moved from the Phoenix area to High Corbett Field at 7.30 p.m. on Monday. Meanwhile, at the 4A level, the South Point softball squad will take on CDO if the Dorados win tonight. We have more on that later. Also, Nogales High's baseball team is a win away from going to the 5A state championship game. Final results tonight at 10. I'm Paul C. Carlo. We'll be right back.